Hello. Welcome, welcome. I'm doing this episode later than normal, so uh, I feel different. Because, you know, you feel different at different times of the day. Isn't that right? What's your prime time? I want to know. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the like button and subscribe. Helps keep me going. But also, I really want to know, what's your prime time? When When's your most energetic, happiest time of the day? I would say for me, it's definitely uh, late morning. 10, 11, oh, I'm on fire, even 12. Then the afternoon hits and I'm completely worthless in every way. I was just tired and um, my focus isn't as good. Love the morning. Love me some mornings. Uh, what's your prime time, yo? All right, let's get into it. Oh, so tomorrow, y'all, shit's about to go down at my house, down. Let me tell you, my mom is flying into town. My dad is flying into town, into my house. My sister is coming into town. My other sister is coming into town. My sister's kids, they're coming into town. Literally, okay, so it's, if you don't know, I come from a family of three girls, including me, I'm the baby, and I have not been in the same home, in the same state as my family, the five of us, right, since I was pregnant with Alfie over four years ago, four and a half years ago. That is the last time I flew back home to Chicago for a baby shower, and that's the last time that the five of us were together. So it's been four and a half years. They're all flying out here. It was kind of last minute. Um, It just kind of happened. And I'm so excited. Not only are the five of us going to reunite for the first time in four and a half years, but also um, all the nieces and nephews, they're all, all the cousins, they're all going to be together. So there's going to be five adults and seven kids. So Colleen, my middle sister, has three kids who are four, six, and eight. And then Tracy, my oldest, has um, two kids that are that are coming, and um, they're mm, six and eight. Yeah, and then obviously my kids, Alfie and Poppy. So y'all, it's about to go down. Man, I just hope I have enough sheets and comforters and pillows. I really have not done a good job at um, figuring out if I have everything for them. Uh, and I just hope for the best because I don't know what's happening. I I'm on very little sleep. Alfie is waking up for some reason. I hear it's a four-year-old thing. Any moms out there who have had a four-year-old or who have a four-year-old, can you, um, talk to me about this? Because I keep hearing that when they hit four, they just want their mommy and they want to like come into bed with you. Or in my case, he wants me to go to bed with him. So like, whatever, it's fine. It's all good. I'm just a little more tired than I normally am. But nonetheless, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be with my family. I cannot believe it's still surreal. Like I'll believe it when I see it. So my sister, my middle sister, Colleen and her three kids are going to arrive tomorrow at 11 a.m. and then the next day the rest of my family is coming so yeah man I just I can't wait I'm gonna try and get them all on the podcast next week we'll see how that goes and yeah man it's just wild so that's happening and I man I just need it I need family right now I feel like um overwhelmed with everything that's going on and I just don't feel comfortable making content like I used to. I, I'm i so vulnerable right now that, I don't know, I feel like the criticism just like hits me really, really hard and it's not great for my mental health. So I just have been posting much less to try and protect myself, I guess, uh, and just you know, prioritizing my kids and my mental health. 
And I know that this whole situation is temporary and that life is ever changing. And um, this is just a moment in time. So instead of beating myself up for not working harder and hustling and trying to make more money, I'm just being trying to be easy on myself and listen to my body and my mind, which are telling me to slow down, focus on your kids, focus on your health. You know, obviously I do what I have to do to, you know, pay the bills. Um, And that's kind of it. I just really want to lean on family in this time and just, I'm just so excited to have them. I just want to, I don't know, connect with them again right now. Yeah, I was just talking to a friend who cries a lot and I got really jealous because I don't, I don't cry a lot. I kind of, I'm one of those people who it's like, whatever, going through something traumatic and I get sad for a minute and then I'm like, okay, focus on what's right. Focus on what's good. Make your gratitude list. And I think it's too much. Like, I think I'm not allowing myself to feel all of these feelings, which is, I believe, essential in the healing process. And I tend to like skip over that bit a bit and just like, Focus on what's right and visualize what you want and focus on what you want and not what you don't want and get into radical acceptance and then move on and move forward and life is good and life is beautiful and look at the sun and look at the trees and oh my God, you have so much to be grateful for and how dare you cry? How dare you cry? You know, it's like I feel uh, maybe, yeah, guilty or something because I understand um that I'm privileged and I understand that I'm in pretty good health and have a roof over my head and family and friends who love me. Like I understand all that. So I don't allow myself. Yeah. To feel. Um, I wonder how, how do you deal with, challenging times do you allow yourself to feel them to feel the anger and feel the sadness and feel the uncomfortable feelings or do you tend to run from them i need to get better at just sitting in them but not for too long not for too long you know i feel like I'm very compelled right now. Oh, I'm very compelled right now to take this book right here, which, what is this book? (laughs) The birth order book. Okay. I just grabbed a book. This is actually funny that I picked this book up because I'm literally going to see my two sisters (laughs) and I'm, I feel like there's so much to your birth order. (laughs) Like if you read about birth orders and then you... If I read about the youngest, I fit all all of it. And my middle sister fits all of that. And my oldest sister, same. Anyway, I'm going to flip to a random page and po- point to a random paragraph. And that's the paragraph that we were all meant to hear today, right here, right now. Because you know why I do that? Because it's fun, okay? It's fun. It's fun to just pretend like, okay, this is the paragraph that was meant for us today. Isn't that fun, y'all? This is the the type of thrills I get in my 30s. It's like flipping to a random page of a book. It's not snorting lines of cocaine anymore. It's flipping to random pages of books and going, this paragraph was meant for me. That's fun, dude. Googling shit, fun. Uh, I need to start doing chat G. PT, whatever the fuck it is. I need to do that. Okay. So before I flip to the random page, I just want to say this podcast is sponsored by AG1, y'all. AG1 is your nutritional insurance. It's got 75 vitamins, minerals. It's a drink you take every day in powder form. You just scoop um, a bit of powder, put it in your cup, 
mix it around. I squeeze lemon in there. I have it every morning and you're just getting all of your vitamins, all of your nutrients. Um, the only thing you're not getting is vitamin D, which comes in a drop form. So if you go to idiot podcast slash, uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Athleticgreens.com slash idiot podcast. Again, athleticgreens.com slash idiot podcast. And, oh, wait, I'm so annoying. I think, I think they changed their freaking website and I'm filming on my phone so I can't even look. All right, so what I need you to do is go to the description and I'll have the proper website for you to click on. Go to the description in my YouTube or Spotify, but I'm pretty sure it's like ag one dot com slash idiot podcast now they changed it yeah damn okay go to the description and I can always like edit this bit just to get it right but anyway if you order through me you get five free travel packs and a year free supply of immune supporting vitamin d um yeah so very exciting I take it every day and it tastes really good and I know I'm getting everything like especially as a vegan I'm getting my b12 hey hey and like everything else you can imagine so check it out it's totally vegan gluten-free and delicious okay let's flip to the random page ready okay ready Here's the paragraph we were all meant to hear. This is meant for us, okay? This is going to change your life. <laughs> all right. It's fine to be tough and independent. It's foolish, however.